Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the most intriguing, fascinating, and sometimes even shocking topics from around the world. Today, we will explore the circus's dark history and delve into the lives of some of the most shocking circus freaks that actually existed. These individuals, who were often exploited and subjected to ridicule, were used as a source of entertainment for audiences all around the world. Throughout history, the circus has always been a place of mystery, wonder, and fascination, and it's no secret that it has a dark side. But behind the glitz and glamour of the big top, there were real people who were forced to endure unimaginable hardships just to make a living. Our goal is to shed light on these individual stories, pay tribute to their resilience, and honor their memory. So if you're ready to take a journey into the past and explore the world of the most shocking circus freaks that actually existed, then make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below about your thoughts on the topic. We hope you'll join us on this journey and that together we can shine a light on the dark corners of history that have been forgotten. One, Isaac W. Sprague human skeleton. Isaac W. Sprague, also known as the Living Skeleton, was one of the most unique and shocking circuits freaks ever. Born in 1841 in Massachusetts, he suffered from a rare medical condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, which caused his bones to be extremely fragile and brittle. Due to this condition, he was only able to weigh around 50 pounds at the peak of his life and was only around 5 feet tall. Sprague began his career in the circus at a young age, seeing it as a way to make a living and provide for himself. His unique appearance and frail figure quickly made him one of the most popular acts in the surface, and he traveled around the country, performing for thousands of people. His performances were usually centered around his skeletal appearance, with him showing off his thin, fragile arms and legs and his protruding ribs and skull. Although Sprague was a popular attraction in the circus, his life was a challenging one. He suffered from a variety of medical issues and was in constant pain due to his condition. Despite these struggles, he continued to perform for many years and became a well-known figure in the world of circus freaks. Sprague's legacy continues to live on today, as he is considered one of the most iconic and unique circus freaks of all time. His story serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can still find a way to make a life for themselves. 2. Grady Styles, Lobster Boy Grady Styles, better known as Lobster Boy, was a performer in the circus in the 20th century, known for his unique physical appearance. Styles was born in 1937 with a rare genetic disorder called ectrodactyly, which caused his fingers and toes to fuse and his limbs to resemble the claws of a lobster. Styles' father was also born with the same condition and had been a popular circus performer, so Styles followed in his footsteps and began performing at a young age. He became well known in the circus and was often billed as the Lobster Boy or the Devil Boy from Hell. In addition to his personal life, Styles' performances often included him showcasing his lobster-like hands and feet, as well as performing dangerous stunts, such as lighting cigarettes with his fingers or holding objects with his claws. Although Styles' story is tragic, it serves as a reminder of the exploitation and abuse that many circus freaks endured during that period. While his unique condition may have made him a popular attraction, it was also the source of much suffering and pain throughout his life. 3. Lionel the Lion-Faced Man Lionel the Lion-Faced Man was a performer in the circus in the early 20th century. He was born with a rare genetic condition called hypertrichosis, which caused him to grow thick hair all over his body, giving him a lion-like appearance. Lionel began his career as a young man in the circus and quickly gained fame for his unique and shocking appearance. His performances often involved him showcasing his hairy body, and he was billed as the man with the wild beast's mane or the lion-faced man. Lionel was known for his gentle and kind nature, and he used his fame to help others with similar conditions. People often approached him seeking advice or help, and he never turned anyone away. Despite his popularity, Lionel's life was not an easy one, 
he faced constant ridicule and discrimination due to his condition and was often viewed as an object of curiosity rather than a human being. Nevertheless, he continued to perform and bring joy to audiences around the world, and his legacy lives on as one of the most iconic and unique circus freaks of all time. 4. Annie Jones, The Bearded Lady Annie Jones, also known as The Bearded Lady, was a popular circus performer in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. She was born in Virginia in 1865 with a rare genetic condition called hirsutism which caused her to grow thick hair all over her face and body. Jones began performing in the circus at 18 and quickly gained fame for her unique and shocking appearance. Her performances often included showcasing her beard, which was up to 10 inches long, and her gentle and kind nature. She was billed as the greatest lady in the world and toured with various circuses throughout her career. Despite facing ridicule and discrimination due to her condition, Jones turned her unique appearance into a successful career in the circus. She used her fame to advocate for others with similar conditions and was well respected within the circus community. Jones' legacy continues to live on today, and she is considered one of the most iconic and recognizable circus freaks of all time. Her story serves as a reminder of the diversity and complexity of the human experience and is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. 5. Myrtle Corbin, Four-Legged Woman Myrtle Corbin, also known as the Four-Legged Woman, was a circus performer born in 1868 in Tennessee, USA. She was born with a rare medical condition known as Dipicus, which caused her to have two separate pelvises and four legs. Despite her unusual condition, Corbin lived a relatively normal life and was able to walk and run on all fours, as well as stand on two legs. Corbin began performing in sideshows and circuses when she was just a young child. She was a popular attraction, and her unique freak ability drew crowds worldwide. She performed with many different circuses, including the Barnum & Bailey Circus, and was often featured as one of the main attractions. During her performances, Corbin often showcased her unique abilities by performing various physical feats, such as walking on her hands and feet, or standing on one set of legs while using the other to hold objects. She was also known to perform dances and sing songs while on stage. Despite the novelty of her condition, Corbin was not always treated with respect and dignity. In fact, she was often exploited and objectified by circus owners and audiences alike. Nevertheless, she continued to perform throughout her life and remained a popular attraction until her retirement in the early 1900s. Today, Myrtle Corbin is remembered as a pioneering figure in the world of circus freaks and sideshow performers. Her unique ability to walk and run on all fours as well as stand on two legs has fascinated people for generations, and her legacy lives on as a testament to the resilience and perseverance of those who live with rare medical conditions. 6. Jojo the Dog-Faced Boy Jojo the Dog-Faced Boy was a famous American sideshow performer who gained notoriety in the early 20th century for his unusual appearance. Jojo, whose real name was Fedor Adrianovich Jefichu, was born in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1868. He was born with hypertrichosis, a rare genetic condition that causes excessive hair growth all over the body, giving him the appearance of a dog. P.T. Barnum, the famous circus impresario in the late 19th century, discovered Jojo and his father. They joined Barnum's greatest show on earth and became a popular attraction, drawing large crowds wherever they performed. Jojo's unique appearance and gentle personality made him a favorite among audiences. Jojo often interacted with the audience during his performances, making barking sounds and pretending to scratch himself like a dog. He would also perform various feats of strength, demonstrating that despite his unusual appearance, he was just as capable as any other human being. Jojo continued to perform in circuses and sideshows for many years, becoming one of the world's most famous freaks. He died in 1904 at 35, but his legacy lives on as a symbol of the unique and fascinating world of sideshow performers. Today, Jojo's remembered not just as a freak, but as a talented and charismatic performer who captivated audiences with his unique abilities. 7. Zip the Pinhead Zip the Pinhead, also known as William Henry Johnson, 
was a performer in the circus in the late 1800s and early 1900s, known for his unique appearance. He had microcephaly, a condition that caused his head to be significantly smaller than average. Zip was often billed as the What Is It? or the Last of the Aztecs and performed various stunts, such as reciting poetry and singing. Despite his exploitation, Zip was said to be a kind and gentle soul. 8. Cuckoo the Bird Girl Cuckoo the Bird Girl, also known as Minnie Woosley, was a performer in the circus in the early 1900s. She suffered from a condition called vichow seckel syndrome, which caused her to have a small head and a beak-like nose, resembling that of a bird. Woosley's performances often included singing and dancing, while wearing feathers and a bird mask. She was also known to perform bird calls and other avian-inspired acts. Despite the exploitation of her condition, Woosley was said to be a kind and gentle person who had a love for animals, particularly birds. In her later years, she retired from the circus and lived in Georgia, where she raised chickens and turkeys. Woosley's story has inspired various works of art, including the 1994 film Freaks. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the human ability to overcome adversity and find beauty even in the most unusual circumstances. 9. Johnny Eck, the Half Boy Johnny Eck, also known as the Half Boy, was a performer in the circus in the early 20th century. He was born with sacrilegenesis, a rare condition that left him with no lower body. Despite this, Eck could move and walk on his hands with incredible agility and grace. He often performed acrobatic feats and stunts, such as diving into a pool from a great height. Eck's performances were a testament to his strength and determination, and he inspired many people with his ability to overcome his physical limitations. 10. Ella Harper, the Camel Girl Ella Harper, known as the Camel Girl, was a performer in the circus in the early 1900s. She was born with an extremely rare condition that caused her knees to bend backwards, resembling the legs of a camel. Harper's performances, including walking on her hands and feet with her legs tucked under her body, imitating the movements of a camel. Despite the exploitation of her condition, Harper was said to have a positive attitude and was proud of her unique appearance. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of embracing one's differences and finding beauty in even the most unusual circumstances. In conclusion, the stories of these circus freaks are a reminder of the many different forms of beauty and strength that exist in the world. Despite their physical differences, these performers found success and joy in their lives, inspiring others with their resilience and determination. We hope that our exploration of these fascinating individuals has sparked your interest in the history of the circus and the human spirit. We encourage you to follow our channel for more content like this, and remember to like this video and leave a comment to let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.